there are still, you know, a lot of people out there that question how this whole thing is going to work together with digitally enhanced advice and whether that is start, starting to push out uh, the human aspect of it. But I think the human aspect is probably as important as it's ever been. So can you talk about kind of how those two things can harmoniously exist together? You know, the, the takes around robo-advisors were, 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 were heady, right? Oh, were I loved it. I mean, there was... I loved it. I love bringing I, those back up. Finance Twitter, which we're all, you know, we're all part of, and, and I know you and I interact on a lot. You know, but I remember whole stretches where, where robo-advice was like the number one thing. Let me let me give you my take on robo-advisors. I think it adds to our industry. I don't think it's subtract. I think it's growing the pie, not shrinking it. Sure. It's showing us that there are people who need help with investing. Mm-hmm. They do, right? You, I, I need help. You need help. The average person needs help. Their entry into the advice world will probably come through robo advisors, mm-hmm. right? That's probably where you would start. But as your situation gets more complex, as you need better planning, as you need better, uh, uh, better advice, you transition to the full wealth management experience. And, yes. and that's, that's what the real take is on robots. But, but technology in and of itself is going to be super important, I think, not only for current advisors to think about, but future advisors. And I'll give you a quick story. I think there was an article in New York Mag. Spack your stonks with NFTs. It was this really crazy. <laughs> it was this great article, and there, there was a there was a woman in it who was seeking out advice. She was seeking out wealth management advice, and she was interviewing uh, advisors on. Um, she was interviewing advisors on on Zoom. She was interviewing advisors digitally, and this, and you can read this in the article. I think she was she was she's like I'm the ideal wealth management client. I'm I'm, I'm well on my way to on my career. I've got some wealth based on this IPO that I was a part of. And this advisor she was interviewing just ended up trying to share his screen on Zoom, and he just ended up sharing everything. So this, she was looking at like his whole screen and looking at all the wrong stuff she probably shouldn't have been looking at. And she's like, well, I'm going to engage with a wealth manager that, that technology seems to be uh, kind of uh, a struggle with. And that, that lesson to me was important because digitally enhanced advice, digitally enabled advice uh, is important. We need to be thinking about it, uh, the technology around it. But... Advisors need to be comfortable in using all this technology. So, uh, so the next generation, this generation, and the next generation who might just want a digitally enhanced wealth management experience with human advice, but they might want just much more of an app or a phone call or, or a Zoom call. Mm-hmm. Uh, so these are these are seismic changes. They're yeah. seismic changes, and they're important for us to be talking about and and to be thinking about.